Imagine this. You wake up one morning, reach for your phone, and nothing. It's dead. You put it on the charger, but it doesn't respond. You try restarting it, but the screen remains blank. Panic sets in. You need your phone. It's your lifeline to the world. Your bank, your emails, your social media, everything is in there. You grab your laptop and try to access your bank account, but your password doesn't work. You try your email, but you're locked out. What's going on? You feel a knot of dread in your stomach. Your digital life, everything you hold dear has vanished. You're a victim of SIM swapping, a terrifying form of identity theft that's sweeping the digital world. And the scariest part, it could happen to anyone. What you're experiencing is the cold reality of SIM cloning. It's a silent attack, often striking when you least expect it. And once it hits, the consequences can be devastating. This isn't just about losing your phone number, it's about losing control of your entire digital identity. And that's a terrifying prospect. Sim cloning. It sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, right? But unfortunately, it's very real, and it's happening more often than you might think. So what exactly is sim cloning? In a nutshell, it's like making a copy of your house key, but instead of your house, it gives thieves access to your digital life. Your SIM card is the tiny chip in your phone that connects you to your mobile network. It holds your phone number and other important information. When someone clones your SIM, they create a duplicate that they can use in their own phone. Think of it like this. Your phone number is like your address in the digital world, and your SIM card is the key that unlocks the door. When someone clones your SIM, they're essentially making a copy of your key and using it to break into your digital home. And once they're in, they can wreak havoc. They can read your texts, access your emails, even drain your bank accounts. Scary, right? But the good news is, is that there are ways to protect yourself. Stick around and we'll tell you how. Now, you might be wondering, how do these criminals even get their hands on your SIM card information? Well, it's simpler than you might think. They use cunning tactics, often preying on our trust and our desire for convenience. One common method is phishing. You know those emails or text messages that look like they're from your bank or a trusted company? Those could be phishing attempts. They trick you into clicking on a link or giving up personal information, like your SIM card number. Another tactic is social engineering. This involves manipulating people into revealing confidential information. Hackers might call you pretending to be from your mobile provider. They might claim there's a problem with your account and ask for your SIM card details to verify your identity. They can be incredibly convincing using sophisticated techniques to gain your trust. They might even have some of your personal information making their story seem even more believable. So the next time you receive an email, text message, or phone call asking for personal information, be wary. Don't give out any sensitive data unless you're absolutely sure who you're dealing with. We've talked about how hackers get your information, but let's take a step back and really understand why your SIM card is so valuable to them. Think of your digital life like your house. You wouldn't leave your front door unlocked, right? You have a key a physical object that grants you access to your home. Your SIM card is essentially the same thing. It holds the secret code that identifies you to your mobile network. This allows you to make calls, send texts, and access the internet. But here's the thing. Many online services use your phone number as a security measure. They send you a verification code via text message when you try to log in from a new device. It's called two-factor authentication and it's supposed to make your accounts more secure. But with a cloned SIM card, hackers can bypass this security measure entirely. They receive your verification codes, giving them free reign to reset your passwords, access your accounts, and basically take over your digital life. It's like giving someone a copy of your house key, but worse. Because once they're inside your digital house, they can wreak havoc on a whole other level. Section 5. The Many Faces of SIM Cloning, From Simple Swaps to Sophisticated Hacks SIM cloning isn't a one-size-fits-all operation. It comes in different flavors, each with its own level of complexity. 
Think of it like a buffet of digital crime, all equally unpleasant. The simplest method is a straight-up SIM swap. The hacker convinces your mobile carrier to switch your phone number to a SIM card in their possession. They might use social engineering, tricking a customer service representative with fake identification or stolen personal information. Then there's the more sophisticated approach involving specialized hardware and software. Hackers use this to intercept the communication between your phone and the mobile network, capturing your SIM card data in transit. It's like eavesdropping on a private conversation, but instead of words, they're stealing your digital identity. And let's not forget about malware. Those nasty little programs designed to wreak havoc on your devices can also be used to steal your SIM card information. They lurk in the shadows of the internet, disguised as harmless apps or files, just waiting for you to download them. Regardless of the method, the result is the same. Someone else gains control of your digital life, leaving you vulnerable and exposed. Section 6. The Devastating Aftermath When SIM Cloning Strikes All right, we've talked about how SIM cloning works, but now let's get real about its impact. What are the consequences when this digital nightmare becomes a reality? The damage can be swift and devastating. Imagine logging into your bank account only to find it empty or discovering fraudulent charges on your credit cards. With access to your phone number, hackers can bypass security measures and drain your financial accounts. But it goes beyond just money. They can wreak havoc on your personal life as well. Imagine them sending embarrassing messages from your social media accounts ruining your reputation and relationships. Take, for example, the case of Michael Turpin, an early cryptocurrency investor. In 2018, he fell victim to a SIM swapping attack that cost him over $24 million in cryptocurrency. His phone number was ported to a new SIM card, allowing the hacker to reset his passwords and gain access to his digital wallets. This case highlights the devastating financial losses SIM cloning can inflict particularly in the world of cryptocurrency, where transactions are often irreversible. Section 7. Shielding Your Digital Self – Practical Tips to Prevent SIM Cloning The good news is that you're not defenseless against SIM cloning attacks. There are practical steps you can take to protect yourself and make yourself a less appealing target for these digital thieves. First and foremost, be stingy with your personal information. Don't share your phone number or SIM card details online or over the phone unless you're absolutely sure you're dealing with a legitimate source. Enable two-factor authentication on all your accounts, but instead of relying solely on SMS verification, use an authentication app like Google Authenticator or Authy. These apps generate unique codes that are not linked to your phone number making it much harder for hackers to access your accounts. Consider setting up a PIN or password with your mobile carrier. This adds an extra layer of security, making it more difficult for hackers to port your number to a new SIM card without your knowledge. And remember, if someone calls you claiming to be from your mobile provider or another company and asks for your personal information, be skeptical. Verify their identity through official channels before sharing any sensitive data. Section 8. Staying ahead of the game, outsmarting the SIM cloners. Protecting yourself from SIM cloning is an ongoing process. Hackers are constantly evolving their tactics, so you need to stay vigilant and informed about the latest threats. One way to do this is by regularly checking your credit reports for any suspicious activity. Early detection is key to mitigating potential damage. If you spot any unauthorized transactions or accounts, report them immediately. Keep your devices and software up to date. Software updates often include security patches that address known vulnerabilities. Ignoring those updates is like leaving your front door wide open for hackers. Be wary of public Wi-Fi networks. They can be a breeding ground for hackers looking to intercept your data. If you must use public Wi-Fi, Consider using a VPN to encrypt your internet traffic and protect your information. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you know about SIM cloning and the tactics hackers use, the better equipped you'll be to protect yourself. Section 9. A Call to Arms 
protecting yourself in a world of digital deception. We live in a digital world where our lives are increasingly intertwined with technology. It's convenient, it's connected, but it also makes us vulnerable to new forms of crime, like SIM cloning. This isn't a problem for just tech-savvy people. It can happen to anyone, anywhere, at any time. But the good news is that we're not powerless. By taking simple but effective precautions, we can significantly reduce our risk and protect our digital lives. Be informed, be vigilant, and be proactive. Don't wait until it's too late. Take steps today to safeguard your digital identity and prevent yourself from becoming the next victim of SIM cloning. Because in a world where our digital lives are constantly under threat, knowledge and awareness are our strongest weapons. Stay safe out there, folks.